What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited because I just got back from Happy Pappies and I have some things to show you guys on what I picked up um, this trip around. So yes, um, I went there and I wanted to pick up some more Jedi and that I did. Very excited about it. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what I got. So the first thing I got is actually not a Jedi. Um, it's actually a vehicle and it is Luke's land speeder. So yes, um, I don't know this might be the Kenner one. What what does it say in the back here? Um Tonka Corporation? Lucas Films? Maybe. This is Tonka Corporation. So I don't know if this is like made by Tonka. I guess it is. Um but yeah. Very, very nice. Um the top can pop up here. And oh yes, this is old, because look at that. Look at that engine in the inside. Very, very old thing going on here but yes very cool nonetheless um we got like the little uh, dish there you can oh wait this can move what does that do oh okay so to pop the wheels out if you move this little handle in here like that the wheels are up oh that's sick then it actually looks like it's flying and it's like it's like really movable like that and then to put it in parked position you go like that Wow, that is sick. I didn't even know that. Um, got the two seats there. Um, sticker here. It's coming up a little bit, but yeah, this is actually really old. I didn't even realize how old this was. Um, got the engine in the back. And yeah, so I picked this up to go on to my Tatooine display over here. And I used to actually have one of these lens meters. I don't know if this was the exact one I had, but it was very similar to this. Um, and over the years, I just lost it. So to pick it up for 15 bucks was definitely not a bad deal at all. And actually, I'm just not realizing this one's um, covering is open and then this one's like covered. So yeah, but pretty, pretty cool. And also this is probably so you can put the drawers in the back, these little pegs. But yeah, so that was the first pickup. The next thing I got, I was looking in their shelf um, that has, or like their case that has a bunch of um, action figures that are loose, but like more expensive. And I was looking through them, and I'm always trying to find, like, Jedi that I don't have. And in the clone section, they actually had this specific Jedi that I have looked on on eBay before because I go into this website called uh, Galactic Figures, I believe, and it shows, like, every single Jedi action figure ever made. And um, I that's how I figured out about this specific one. And there's only one eBay listing for it, and it's over 100 bucks, and I found it for way cheaper and it is this Rodian Jedi. So yes, this guy is incredibly rare and expensive on eBay. Um, I believe he came out in like a Gene Ocean pack um, of figures a long time ago. And yeah, he's just super cool because it is a Rodian, um, which is the same species as Greedo, obviously. Um, but he's a Jedi too. Um, so for 25 bucks, I actually got him for 20 because they didn't give me a discount. Um, but yes, very, very cool guy. And, you know, this is just, I'm really thankful I was able to find it because on eBay, he, like I said, is just very expensive and I did not want to pay the eBay price. But yeah, really nice articulation, incredible sculpt on the head. Um, very, very cool. Uh, I really like his robes. I just like the color. I got the dark brown with like the cream brown here in the middle. Pretty cool boots. And yeah. And he comes with this green lightsaber. So yeah, I was really excited to have found this guy because I, I don't know how long he's been in the in the case because I had never seen him until this time around. But yeah, really, really cool niche Jedi to add to the collection. So yeah, he is sick. I believe he does have an actual name, but um, on eBay and stuff, um, and also like on Galactic Heroes, they just call him Rodian Jedi. So the last thing I picked up um, was something that I um, had my eye on last time I went, but I held off and I said, I'll get it next time I go. And it is the Attack of the Clones Jedi Council pack. Um, so last time I got the one with Depa Balaba. I was going to focus. Depa Balaba. Um, what is his name? Y Yariel Poof and uh, Yaddle. And then this time around, I got the one with Mace Windu, Evan P.L., and Oppo Rincisis. I don't have those two Jedi, so that's pretty cool. Um, and it also comes with this little hologram in the middle. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get this open and I'll get back to you guys whenever it's out. All right, so it has been opened and unboxed. So the first guy I'm gonna go through is Mace Windu. So yes, um, pretty cool Mace Windu, honestly. I do have two Mace, well actually three technically, but two that are, in, that are intact. Uh, one is live action and one is uh, Clone Wars. And this actually is pretty good. Um, I think that this head looks a lot like Samuel L. Jackson. Um, the one I have currently is not that good. Like, it doesn't really look like Samuel. I think this one does look like I'm pretty, uh, pretty spot on. Uh, yeah, pretty good robes. You know, the articulation. I mean, it's good articulation, honestly. It's a little weird the way his arms are kind of situated, like, like the robes and everything. Um... But yeah, works out nonetheless. Um, he does have cloth here. That is the nice thing about these Jedi Council packs. Just most of the figures that have skirts and stuff do have cloth. Um, there's his legs. Got the white pants, the brown boots. Um, it's a little weird how the cloth has a different color. Um, it's it's ever so slightly a different color than his robes on top. But it works out nonetheless. And it is good because you can sit him down um, properly. So, yeah, but, you know, I think he's a pretty cool Mace Windu, so he is nice. Um, this guy is Evan P.L., but he's one that I do not have. And these little guys, these little Jedi, are always so expensive, because I do remember seeing him at a store over the summer, um, and I didn't get him, because he was, like, 20 bucks, and I was like, that's quite a bit of money for, for one Jedi, so I didn't get him. He kind of looks like something you see from Harry Potter, I don't know why, like, he kind of looks like Gollum a little bit, but... He has a scar on his left eye. Uh, he, he doesn't have a left eye, pretty much. Like, looks like he, he was in a pretty bad battle. Um, droopy ears, though. He kind of looks like Yoda, also. Um, hair in the back here. Got a robe. Um, here's his hands. His hands are pretty white, actually. Um, and then... I think you could take off his um, robe, but then he, his legs can move in the middle there. Uh, swivel arms, you know, quite a bit of articulation, especially for how little of a figure this guy is. But yeah, it's always good to add another, um, Jedi to my collection. I believe Evan was also in the Clone Wars. I think he died in the Clone Wars, actually. Um, I could be wrong about that, but yeah, you know, not a bad guy to add to the collection. Um, check marking off another Jedi. So, pretty cool. And also, check marking off another Jedi is Opo Rancisis. So, yeah, um, he's actually kind of stuck to his chair, like, the way that his, um, tail, or whatever this is, kind of wraps through, like, you kind of can't take him off his chair, which is fine, because, I mean, he can't, he can't stand anyway, because of his, uh, figure, I guess, but what a weird Jedi, this guy is so weird, um, I don't know what species he is, but I do remember seeing him in the movie and being like, what is that guy? Um, he obviously looks like a snake from, like, his tail and everything. Um, and then he has arms, though, and then a head, but he is just growing hair like crazy. I mean, he has a butt on top. I would, I wonder what he looks like if you shave this all off. Obviously, he's probably old because it's, like, white hair and stuff. Uh, but yeah, there's his face got some robes on um and yeah just the tail and everything his seat is like designed to fit him and everything his arms can move look look at those nails crazy nails uh his wrists can move as well yeah just a really interesting character so there they are very cool group of figures here and let's take a look at the display for them. So I'm going to go ahead and put Oppo on it just so that like, the seat is there. But here it is, you know, pretty similar to the one for Depo Balaba. Um, the difference obviously being this seat is different than the one that was for Yaddle. And in the middle here, there is a little hologram of Palpatine. So, yeah, you can kind of see... Um, it's stuck there, you can't move it. But yeah, really cool. This background is the same as the other one. It's like, I guess they all have the same, like, background of Coruscant. Um, but yeah, as you can see, why is it... Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's, like, weird, uh, zooming. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the floor is the same sort of design. Background, same sort of thing, like I said. 
there's a seat there so let me go ahead and put the characters on here but um i was trying to figure out which pack comes with the middle base plates that you see um because if you get all of these um you can obviously uh connect them and then make a middle base plate um, for the middle of the council and i was trying to figure out like which one came with that and i still don't know so if you guys know in the comments please let me know which one comes with the middle plates i thought maybe this one was going to come with one but it doesn't so i don't know if one comes with all of them if you have to buy them separately or like i didn't i just overall don't know what the deal is with that but yeah so here it is i'm gonna go ahead and add it to the display but yeah really really cool yeah, I like how, like, Mace Windu is, like, built to sit there. Like, he is just designed to be able to sit there, and it looks really nice. Um, here's that Rodian, which the more and more I look at this Rodian, the more and more I like it. And obviously, again, the Land Speeder. All right, and here it is in the display. As you can see, I added the second Jedi Council there. Um, really, really sick. There's the Rodian Jedi. I just love how it looks together, all the Jedi sitting down. And I was able to figure out that the first, th these are the first two out of the six Jedi Council sets made. And after this, um, the next four are the ones that come with the base plates for the middle. So, yeah, I was, I was wondering, like, which ones came with the base plates. And it is the, the four last ones that do come with the base plates. Um, yeah, really, really sick. I'm so happy to have found that Rodian. Um... But yeah, and then down here, we have Luke's land speeder, obviously. Very sick. I think it looks great in the Tatooine display. And I did throw a Luke and Obi-Wan from Power of the Force. So anyways, guys, that's just me showing what I was able to pick up. Really happy about it. Really thankful. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit like. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.